Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're just stopping by for the first time, you're highly welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, you're most welcome as well. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to cut and sew this bodysuit pattern. If this sounds like what you're interested in, you might definitely want to stick around and watch till the end. Let's just dive into the main video. So on our work table, I have my pattern paper, my front and my back pattern paper. I also have my zipper. I have my fabric. I'm just going to be using this zipper you're seeing right here because I love the fact that it has two sides. I also have my fabric here, which looks like a spandex. I also have my matching color threads here. So the first thing I'll do now is just to check the side that is more stretchy. So this side is more stretchy than the other side, a lot more than this side. I'll just go ahead and rotate my fabric like this the other way around and I'll be folding it like so. Next I'm just going to be bringing my back pattern and I'll be placing it on top like this just to cut it out. So I'll be cutting it out on fold. This place means that it's on fold. I'm just going to be cutting exactly what I have here on my pattern paper. No stitching allowance added. I'm just going to be cutting exact same thing because I want it to be tight against the body. Okay, so I'm just going to make use of this stretchy part and not this way. So the next note is just to pin my pattern paper upon my fabric and I'll be making sure it's not moving around in any way. And next I'm just going to use my scissors to cut it out. So on getting to the armhole, I decided to cut exactly what I have. I was supposed to deduct one and a half inches from the outer part, but I decided to cut it out like so because I want the shoulder to be covered properly. So I'm just going to be removing this and this is what I have for the back piece. So next thing I did was to cut out the front piece as well. So I'm just going to be detaching the pins which I have used to hold it in place. So this is for the front. I cut out two pieces for the front because I'm going to be inserting my zipper. I also added a little bit of an inch for the zipper allowance, about 0.5 inches sewing allowance. I'm just going to be inserting my zipper from the waistline where you see me touching and holding. And I'll be stitching down the rest of the open parts. So now I'm just going to be using my pins to hold it in place while I stitch down the down parts. I'm just going to go ahead and I'll measure where I want my zipper to stop and from there I'll be stitching down the rest of the open parts like so and I start my zipper as well. After I'm done stitching down the down part like so, I went ahead to use my pressing iron to open up the seams and make it flat. Now I'm just going to be placing my zipper like so and I will go and sew it down like this. So you can see that I used my pins to hold it in place and also I did the same thing for the other side of the zipper. I'm just going to go ahead and my machine and stitch and that's all. Now I have attached the zipper. This is how it's looking like on the inside and on the outside it's looking more prettier. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the black thread and I will top stitch on it following the zipper and I'll trim off the excesses which you are seeing right here. So I will use my bias to turn out the neckline and I will do the same thing for the other side as well. So this is my bias strip. I'm going to be using the same material for a bias strip and I will use it to turn it out. I will be placing it like this on the fabric and I will go ahead and stitch everything down. Oh, yeah. 
Now this is what I have for the zipper and for the neckline area. This is how it's looking like. So next thing I'm going to do now is just to get the back piece and I'll place them right side to right side facing each other. I used a pin to hold the shoulder line temporary and I'm just going to go ahead and flip it like this and I'll stitch down the shoulder line and this is what I have. So my neckline is done with and this is how it's looking like. I used the same material for the bias to turn out the neckline. This is what I have at the ending. I also did the same thing for the back piece. Now I'm just going to be aligning them right side to right side facing each other. Remember when I said I didn't deduct anything from the shoulder line before stitching yours down? So just deduct something from here and stitch it down. To look like a sleeveless now i will go ahead and stitch the sides by half of an inch and i will do the same thing at the other side as well and i'll get back to you now i'm done stitching the sides i am done with the armhole now i'm just going to turn my body suits inside out next i'll just go ahead and Fold this in, this part in by half of an inch and I'll use a zigzag stitch to stitch it down. You can also add your elastic band to give it more elasticity around that area but for me I'll just make use of my zigzag stitch alone and I'll be going over to my machine to do the same thing at the other side. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every See my message start to spread And I had so many dreams Then you hit your teens Life ain't really what it seems Try to find out what it means Always do it on my own So I gotta get through it And the only thing I know Is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all this art It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed Feel my own after that I'm going to be hemming the down part and the other part as well by half of an inch and I'll be attaching my push buttons or my hook and eye whichever one you want to use between the two now this is the finished stage and I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't subscribed kindly do so by hitting the subscribe button and tapping on the notification bell don't forget to like and share comment and tell me what you think in the comment section and See you guys later in my next video. Bye for now. Everybody listen up, cause I'll only say it once. I'm gonna show you all the path. If you want it bad, I'm gonna show you where it's at. Yeah, how you can get.